What's up guys, Super K Sharpening, and I'm back with another sharpening video. I got my KME out today because I wanted to try one of my kitchen knives. Um, right now it's incredibly dull. I don't think you'd even cut paper. Um, I know y'all love the newspaper test. I try to do it every once in a while. Uh, I got my four inch paring hinkle, a little sheet of paper. It cuts, but it's a really rough cut. And looking at the blade, uh, it's not gonna come up on camera, so I'm not even gonna try. But it's just a pretty rugged kind of edge. I can see a bunch of like, I don't wanna call them chips, but they're just some imperfections that I'm not fond of. I like a real smooth, clean, crisp cut, especially for my kitchen knives. There's nothing better than a sharp kitchen knife. So I'm gonna take this one through the progression with the KME. I've never sharpened this knife on the KME. I've always done this on my Wicked Edge, but figured I'd give it a shot. So this is gonna be basically a full progression sharpening with the KME system. So I'm gonna start from the Sharpie all the way to clamping, finding the angle, all that good stuff. So first things first, my color on my edge. Got my handy dandy Sharpie here. There we go. Y'all can see a little bit of that red coming through. Get it clamped on the system. We're good to go. And I'm, I'm gonna put on the 1500 grit, just to test the angle. I put on the 1500 grit and the stone carry because I don't wanna take off really any more metal that I need to to find the angle. I have the K-Me right now, I have it set to 20 degrees just as a starting point. And I like to use a little bit of Lansky's honing oil. I literally do about one dot on the stones just to keep it lubricated and makes it cut a little bit nicer. There we go. And then I spread it around with my finger. All right, there we go. Real light pass. And that's not there yet. So let's try moving it up closer towards 30. That's closer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe off the oil and see if some of that Sharpie comes off. And I'm going to recolor the edge just to see exactly where it's taking it off. Because I think that's pretty close um, where I have it. Try this again. And at the very tip of the bevel, it's not removing it. So I'm gonna move this up just real slightly. Once again, I'm gonna recolor my edge, wipe off the oil. And that's spot on, that removed all the Sharpie. So we're gonna stick with that right there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off, I'm gonna unscrew this, take off the 1500 and switch to my 140 grit and then we'll start sharpening. And for this knife, I'm probably only gonna take it up to 1500. 
Um, I may go into the straps. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. So get the 140 here. 140 grit. Load it into the plate carrier, or stone carrier. Get that snug. Once again, I do a dot of oil. Spread it around with a different finger. Real, real light. You don't need much. And then you just sharpen like normal. We're gonna try to get a burr for the full length of the blade. Real light pressure. Check it for the burr. And we've got it for the full length of the blade, so that's perfect. So what we'll do now is we'll flip it over. And that was 30 passes, so I'm now going to do 30 passes on this side. Real light pressure. Checking for the burr again, make sure I've got it for the full length of the blade. And I need a little bit of work on the tip, just a little bit. And all I'm using is the weight of the stone. I'm not applying any pressure at all. And that got it. So now what I do is I do alternating strokes on each side, even lighter pressure to remove the burr before I progress to the 300 grit. So we're gonna flip it back over. I'm probably gonna do four on this side. Real light pressure, flip it over, four this side. Three this side. Clip it over. Two. Two on this side. And then one, one. All right, so now, perfect. I don't feel a bar on either side. Now I'm gonna change my stone out and go to the 300. To change the stones, real easy. You unscrew this guy, but make sure you keep a hold of your stone because it can fall off. Comes right out. Got the 300 diamond grit there.
tiny dot of oil. Spray the oil. And then before I do that, what I like to do is I like to take a, a rag. It's just any old rag will be good. I know I have alcohol in here, rubbing alcohol. And I like to wipe off the blade before I change stones. Just to get any metal or any residue off the blade before I go to the next so I don't cross contaminate anything. All right, here we go. Here's the 300 grit. Need a little bit of work right there. And that got it, so we'll flip it over. Got a burr for the full length of the blade. That was 30 strokes, so we're gonna do 30 strokes on this side as well. Everything's even. Then we're going to remove the burr now before we progress to the next stone. Super light pressure. from here we're gonna wipe off the blade again no cross-contamination take my rag and we're gonna move up to the 600 grit for a kitchen knife you really wouldn't need to go past 600 grit um, I do it because I love sharp knives, but realistically you don't need it, but we do. Tip needs a little bit of work.
There we go. I'm gonna flip it over. I'll try to sharpen with my right hand so y'all can see. I'm predominantly right-handed, so it's not, it's a little awkward, but I still do it. All right, so now let's remove that burr. And then flip to the other side. and no burr for the length of the blade. So, we get to move on to the 1500. First, I wanna wipe off my blade again. And just a little dot of oil, once again, using a different finger. See if we got a burr. Need a little bit of work towards the heel. And that got it, so we'll flip it over.
we'll see if we got a bird once again. And we have it for the full length of the blade. But since I did a little bit of work on the heel on the other side, I'm gonna try to keep it as even as possible on this side. So I'm gonna do a little bit of work on the heel. And that knife is very sharp already. Um, at 1500 grit, that's incredibly sharp. You could stop there, but you know what? Let's go to the straps, why not? So we're gonna go from nine micron to 0.1 micron. So 1,800 grit all the way up to 160,000 grit. Why not? Get my straps laid out here for us. And then I'm putting up the 1500. And this is a big one, big thing to do. I've said it a few times, but especially for the straps, you gotta wipe off your blade. You don't want any of that metal residue on these straps. It's the same for the stones, but especially true for the straps. So we're gonna start off with the nine micron. And for these, I'm gonna use my left hand. Um, I'm sorry if y'all can't see as well. I just don't wanna cut my straps. Oh yeah. Then let's move to the six micron. So the six micron is 3000 grit.
going on to the three, which the three is 6,000 grit. I think I may have said that wrong. Uh, we went to the six, this was the six micron, which is 3,000 grit. I think I said that wrong. So we're going to the three micron, which is a 6,000 grit. Sorry about that, guys. So the three micron at 6,000 grit. Now we're gonna go to the one micron, which the one micron is 16,000 grit. One of the cool things about the KME is it comes off the base. Maybe that would be a little bit better for you guys to see. All right, from here, we're gonna go to the 0.5. Or actually, you know what? I think I forgot that side. Let's do this side. If I already did it, oh well. We'll do both sides again. So, here we go. We'll only do 10, because I I think I did that side, and we'll do 10 on this side, just to keep everything even. Now, we're gonna to go to the 0.5 micron. Which the 0.5 is 60,000 grit. So we've got the 0.5, and then 60,000 grit.
All right, here we go. 160,000 grit at 0.1 micron. So we got the 0.1 micron and then it's at 160,000 grit. There we go, guys. Let's do the handy dandy newspaper test and see how we did. Cut out a few coupons while we're at it. Oh. That wasn't what we were looking for. There we go. That's it. Look at that. Perfect. That is one sharp kitchen knife. And there you have it, guys. See if I can get a little bit of that shine. There we go, look at that. Look at that light hit that edge. Fantastic. All right guys, thanks for watching. I'd appreciate any likes or subscriptions or leave me a comment. Let me know what you want me to sharpen or what system you want me to use to sharpen. I love making these videos for y'all. Um, I'm glad I can now use my Hinkle paring knife back in the kitchen. I'm gonna be slicing and dicing. Thanks for watching guys, see you later.